Hi, um, I'm Alez, I'm the Chief Pilot here at Thrustfly. And I'm James Helen Pascoe, one of the Assistant Chiefs, and today we want to take you up on the plane with us to talk about short field landings. So it's probably one of the hardest maneuvers that we have students figure out how to master. It's all about things such as energy management and airspeed control, which James has a little joke, we like to call it a slow flight on landing, right? Yeah, it's the slow flight landing, right? It's uncomfortable, you're flying low, you're flying slow, and sometimes we both know that those students love to drag it in, so they're doing uh, extra low and extra slow. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll get to the plane and go do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna be walking y'all through how to do a uh, short field landing today. So how many times have you seen it that your student uh, goes off to the check ride after flying great for weeks and weeks and weeks and uh, they come back and say, I was short on my short field. Well, we at Thrust, we've been working on a way to hopefully prevent that. All right, so here we are. So track final altitude is 1,500 feet. So James is turning at 1,200, which is 300 feet below TPA. Lancaster traffic, there's five, three, two, left crosswind, runway one, three, Lancaster. Not only is it what the FAA recommends, but it's what makes all this stuff work perfectly for us with power settings and airspeeds. Overhead switches on, mixture for rich, air conditioners off. And so now here we are, we're in the downwind, right? So what James is doing is he's maintaining about 90 knots, okay? So that's gonna be roughly 2000 to 2100 RPM. Yeah, you might have to adjust it based on the day, but usually it's in that ballpark, right? And he's keeping the runway about half of, halfway down the wing. Um, it'll keep us close enough so we can keep a nice tight pattern, right? But you know, not too far out where we're going to end up low. My guess traffic to 532 is left down for 13. My guess. So what's going to be our touchdown point? Eh, we're going to do the numbers today. Cool. So as we get a beat the numbers, traffic, four, one, six, Charlie Alpha, he's going to pull the power left down to 1500. And now he's setting flaps 10. And what he's letting the plane do is kind of find that 85 knots and trimming for that airspeed. And we're going to continue our downwind until our touchdown point. It's about 45 degrees off. Lancaster traffic, there's 532 left base, runway 13, touch and go, Lancaster. And you can see it's working out perfectly. The pattern's about, it's a thousand feet. We lost about 350 feet right there and we're on the turn to base. So the math checks out, right? Now he's pitching for 80 knots. He's got flaps 25. And final's clear. Lancaster traffic, there's 532 final on runway 13, Lancaster. And we're keeping these, these, these turns in the pattern nice and tight. We want to keep them about 30 degrees. You don't want to go more than 30, but really you need to keep them nice and tight to make it work out. So now we're at full flaps. And what we're doing is letting the plane really get on the backside of that power curve. Okay, just like we practice in slow flight. Minimums. And we're going to control our altitude with just our power. And we're I looking for the low 60s. Charlie Alpha, left base, 13 Lancaster. This way, this plane's essentially going to go exactly where we want it. There we go. And we got it. Now, if you notice, I, uh, I haven't used any brakes. I think we're going to stop before the end of the runway. What's, uh, what's important about using brakes on a short field? So with brakes, we need to be very, very careful, especially at high speeds, to make sure that we're not coming at them from the top, right? We're coming, we have our feet, our heels on the floor, and pressing upwards with our toes. 
This way, we don't risk locking up the brakes. Um, Lancaster traffic for We both know what can happen there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we are, one to down one. So James is setting his power to about 2,000, 2,100 RPM again. And what he's looking for is around 90 knots. So what we're going to do is a short field landing, and what's going to be your touchdown point this time? I'll do the 1,000 footers today. Perfect. So the last time we did numbers, this time 1,000 footers. It's important to consistently, you know, change your point every single pattern, change it. Uh, that way you can be able to adjust. County traffic, Turkey 9, 0, 0, 6, 3, 2, 8 miles east west, 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 And I got him in sight. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, overhead switch is all up. Mixture forage, air conditioner is off. Flows. Flows. <laughs> so now we're a beam, our touchdown point. We're reducing the power to 1,500 RPM, and we're looking for about 85 knots with flaps 10. And what James Blank is going to do the four, one, six, Charlie, is just, just leave the power at 1,500, one, and we're going to pitch our airspeed. If we're fast, I guarantee you we're low, so we need to pitch up. If we're slow, we're high, right? Oh. And now we're going to start a turn that we put our touchdown point 45 degrees off our shoulder. We Lancaster went to flaps traffic, 25. 532 left phase, runway 13, touch and go Lancaster. And it's important to let the nose fall, that way you can capture the 80 knots. Lancaster traffic, for 416 Charlie Alpha is left down on 13 Lancaster. And final is clear. Lancaster traffic, there's 532, final runway 13, touch and go, Lancaster. There we go, and now that we're on final, we're going full flaps. We're going to kind of let the slow the plane slow down and get into the backside, or fall into the backside of the power curve, I should say. Just like we have, we have in the slow flight. Minimums, minimums. 200 feet stable. We'll continue. And you'll notice we're in the low 60s, right? Uh, which is just fine in this aircraft. But basically setting it up where the plane, it's got this nice, stable, steady descent to where exactly where we want to go. So when we go power idle, it's going to hit just on that point. Stall, stall. Beautiful. Flaps down, on the go. Take off our set. Ages in the green, airspeed alive, both sides. 60, rotate. So on end of course exams, on stage checks, what we always see right here is that people are messing with their power, you know, up, down, up, down, left, right, whatever. Um, but realistically, this is the whole reason why we practice slow flight. Lancaster traffic, there's 532, final 13, stop and go, Lancaster. So now we're at full flaps. Lancaster traffic, Cherokee, 9 0 3 miles northeast, at 2,500, departing to the east, that's called Parker County. And we're kind of letting the plane fall onto the back side of the power curve. So we're maintaining our... Minimums, minimums. 200 about feet. Stable, continue. Continue. About 61 knots. He's managing our descent using our power. Our airspeed is managing with our pitch. Stall, 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 stall. And just like that. And now he's going to go max braking. So what he's doing is putting his heels on the floor, and he's slowly pressing forward and using aerodynamic braking. Okay, we're going to leave the flaps alone. But this way, we can get the aircraft stopped. And we're going to do it in a way where we can maintain directional control at all times. How far do you think it took us to stop there? About 1,200 feet? Lancaster yeah. traffic helicopter November 1, Tango November is go. about uh, 4 you say it, I'll swear to it. Well. <laughs> I should have said 8. Be transitioning over the north air into the airfield at 1,200 feet, Lancaster. 
Ah, uh, the helicopter is coming back. Lancaster traffic, there's a 932, on the go, runway 13, left close traffic, Lancaster. So here's our rotation speed is 60, so he's going to smoothly pull back, right? After takeoff checklist, flaps are down. And now we're climbing out at 76 knots. And we're going to do this until we get 300 feet below our traffic pattern altitude, which is 1,500 feet today. And what's really important here, especially on high wind days, is that we're using our, you know, our, our rudders. Okay, traffic coming up on into the runway Delta is about five miles out and down from the southeast, practicing the RNAV runway 31, circle to 13, like the traffic. Where is she? Uh, southeast. Lancaster using a, a, using a mixture of our rudders and ailerons to maintain, you know, the extended center line that we have right here. Uh, what? I got him. His point is power to about 2,000, 2,100 RPM. What we're doing is maintaining 90 knots. Uh, this way we can be, we have plenty of time to run our before landing uh, flow. Overhead switch is all up, make sure full ridge, air conditioner is off. And we have the runway just about halfway down our wing, about three quarters of a mile away, right? It's not too close where all of our, this whole thing that we're gonna do with the 1,500 RPM, it's gonna put us right where we want to. But it's not so far away where, you know, if your instructor or examiner surprises you with an engine out and you're doing a power off 180, that you're not going to make the runway. Or you just actually have a real engine out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to land on, what is it, thousand footers or numbers? Yeah, we'll do the numbers today. All right, we're going to touch down on the numbers. So here we are, we're a beam it. We're gonna go 1500 RPM. And flaps 10, and now we're gonna just pitch for about 85 knots. And you'll see, he took his hand off, because what we're really trying to re just reinforce here is that we're not gonna be messing with our power in the pattern when we're descending. And what we're looking for is about 45 degrees off our shoulder. And once that happens, we'll bank about 30 degrees, go flaps 25, and pitch for 80 knots. I got her in sight. Lancaster traffic, there's 532 left base, runway 13, touch and go, Lancaster. Final is clear. Go. Lancaster traffic, there's 532, final runway 13, touch and go, Lancaster. Now we're on final, we're going to go full flaps. And we're looking for, you know, initially want to be at 70 knots, but we're really going to let the plane start falling back into the low 60s. And what he's going to do is use his power to maintain his descent rate, his altitude, and we're maintaining our, our airspeed with our pitch. Minimums, minimums. 200 feet, stable. Continue. Continuing. So what he's using is the end of the runway right here, where it meets the grass. That's the aiming point. But we're going to touch down on the numbers. Go. There we go. And now he's go slowly going from bottom to up with his toes, applying more and more pressure. That way we can get that maximum braking without losing directional control. All right. Beautiful. I'm sound on the go. Um, so what we're going to do is mess up a short field now. I'm going to drag it in, which means coming in real, real low. Yeah, surprise. That wasn't all the other landings. <laughs> I just joked. <laughs> uh, 
We're going to drag it in real, real low. I'm going to get too low uh, so where I'd be short. And then Alez will call a go around and we'll walk through the new go around procedure. So you want to call it, I'll be like in the grass low and then we're going to go click, click. So full power, click, click, up and away, positive rate trending and go. Click, click. Uh... So full power, click, click, trending, positive rate. 64? Up, up, up 64. Uh, yeah, so click, click, 64. Uh, maintain 64 with a positive rate, go. Yep. Okay. Because that trending thing is like, what's trending? Oh, it's I'm trending. Yeah, well, <laughs> Lancaster traffic, there's 532, left downwind, runway 13, Lancaster. Do you know what's trending? This video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are in the downwind. We reduce our power to about 2,000 RPM, maybe 2,100 if we need it. What we're looking for is the plane to settle about 90 knots. This way we can run our before landing flow, which is going to be all of our switches are on. Our mixture's full. We're on the fullest tank. Our air conditioner is off. And now we can focus on keeping the runway just about halfway down the wing. Keeps us about three quarters of a mile from the runway, which is a perfect distance. And we're going to land on the numbers. The That's numbers. Touchdown point. We're okay. going to pretend like we're going to land on the numbers. So what's really important with these with these short field landings is, you know, especially as you're learning them, don't learn bad habits, right? It's not appropriate to be short. It's not appropriate to be long. All right, so we are beam. He set 1,500 RPM and went flaps 10. And now he's pitching for 85. What we're doing is putting the runway about 45 degrees off our shoulder, which is about right there. And we'll start a nice third degree turn. I'm and now the... he's at flaps 25. And we're looking for about 80. What we see many, many times on end of course exams, on stage checks, is right here. The student gets a little bit slow, and now they start messing with their power. Lancaster traffic, there's 532, left base, runway 13, touch and go, Lancaster. All the way on the downwind, when we're descending on the downwind, on base, and majority of final, we should only be controlling our airspeed with our pitch. If we're using our power, this, this perfect thing that we set up for this landing is not going to work. So here we are on final. He's got his full flaps. We should be at about 70 knots, which we are and kind of slowly pulling back to about that low 60, about 61 knots. Minimums. But you can Minimums. see he keeps messing with the, with the power. Lancaster traffic, there's 532, final runway 13. Touch and go, Lancaster. And you can see how flat he is. At this point, if there's something in front of the runway, he wouldn't make it. So what I would hope is that he would break off this approach and go around. Going around, full power. So he's got full power here. He's going flaps 25, flaps 10, keep the nose nice and level. We're looking for at least 64 and a positive rate of climb and cleaning up the flaps. It's imperative once you get that, slowly begin pulling back so that way you can get away from the ground. And Lancaster traffic, there's 532, going around runway 13, uh, left coast traffic, Lancaster. Yeah, if it's not gonna work out, go around. Don't learn bad habits, and it's go around October. <laughs> cool.